so I got a new set of connecting rods from CIP1. They're just MPs, but Chevy Journal, five and a half inch. That's what I was looking for. So I got them. And I get to this one. And what is that? having trouble focusing on such a small thing but there we go all right I emailed CIP one and they responded pretty quick with go ahead and just pull it out and make sure that the uh, pin fits fine so I guess I'll give that a shot I'm not sure what's going on there though it won't like just peel off so I'm gonna have to hit it with a file or something let's see how folk close I can get this there we go so yeah let's that's some nice scoring there all right so I'll get you in the stand and we'll fuck with this let's try just yanking on it first here yeah, that came right out Oh look, it's just a piece of wire wedged in there. That is the most bizarre. So it must have been like a wire wheel and it left a piece of the cheek poker right there. All right, I'm going to go grab a uh, wrist pin. Get it lubed up here. I don't want to rub it, run it in dry. So, yeah. No, we don't want a hair in there. My daughter's hair gets everywhere. So there we go. Yep. It feels pretty solid. There's a very tiny, tiny bit. I mean, barely feel it going up and down and side to side no play at all so I'm happy I don't know what that scuffing and shit was but you know once I ran some oil in there and ran this through I don't see it so that's good it was cosmetic oh no they're there right there can't tell if you see it, the mount is in the way. No, it's really tricky to see them now, but they are there. There's still those scuffs. So that's what you get with MP. Keep that in mind when you're buying rods. They're not going to be perfect. You're going to have to fiddle. Anyway, what really pisses me off and this is a rant here, but what really pisses me off is that MP keeps going out there and telling everybody how they're changing the way they're doing things and they're building better quality and they're not. And it really irritates the shit out of me. That's an old bearing. So is that. So here's an old connecting rod. Let's see. Yeah, this is a uh, VW one. These are what were originally in that engine with the 84 millimeter crank. Yeah, so the Volkswagen ones are clearly better quality than the MP. It's all right. They'll be fine. This isn't going to be a high RPM engine. This is a low RPM torque engine. Damn. That actually fits better in here than in my old, tired Volkswagen rods versus the new MP ones. That's disturbing. And why is all this? It's like it used to say something, but now it's all ground out.
I don't know. I'm kind of wondering now if I shouldn't just reuse these, but they're shorter. I wanted the longer rods for the better geometry. You can't really see, but this one is quite a bit shorter. So I'll save these and use these and see how it goes. If I unhappy with those, then I'll tear it back down and switch to these. All right, guys, that was a short, short and sweet video. Just complaining about this shit. CIP one was right. They, uh, I just had to take that wire out and it was fine. Um, the quality is like I said, you can see it's pretty shit and it's adequate. I think, I hope. <laughs> really don't want to tear it down again, but if I have to, I have to. So we'll stick with those, see how it goes. Or I will not be using that bearing. It's a, still okay, but it's not, not something I want to reuse. I have new ones. There. Somewhere. You can see the front. There we go. So, yeah. All right, guys, like I said, quick video, click the subscribe button. You can see all the rest that I, I'm doing with this engine and have a good one.